I don't think the markets have gotten a chance to react just yet. Sure, they're both up a little bit, but I don't think this is even scratching the surface to where they're both going to go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about silver once again reaching and surpassing $28 an ounce, as well as gold reaching and surpassing $2,000 an ounce, along with some of my thoughts on what this upcoming week is going to be bringing us. But really quick, just in case you're new, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Join the party. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. We got a back to school giveaway going on over there. So if you have kids or grandkids, you want to help them get some school supplies. And of course, if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, the brand new Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I want to talk about the spot price of both silver and gold. I want to start off by talking about silver and then we're going to get into gold. But as I'm recording the video, silver is currently above $28 an ounce. Who knows what's going to happen by the time I start editing the video. If it changes significantly, I will put something on the screen. It might go up, it might go down. Silver is very, very sporadic. The, the volatility of silver is, is unbelievable. I recently talked about silver hitting $28 an ounce, but Today, I think it's a little bit different. I think it's a little bit different this week in particular as opposed to last week or the week before whenever silver surpassed the $28 an ounce mark last time. For the last couple of days, we've seen silver, you know, $25, $26 an ounce. And all of a sudden this week comes about and it's up above $28 an ounce. And I thought it was pretty interesting and I think it may or may not be tied to Warren Buffett's recent involvement in the precious metal market which I will get into more specifically when we're talking about gold. But I'm curious to see what silver is going to do this week because silver seems to be holding on tight. Sure, it goes up and down, but it's staying up there. It's not really falling down too much. And I think, as much as I hate to say this, for those of you who have been tuning into my live streams at night, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I say this, but I feel like silver above $20 an ounce is just the new normal. I do not know if we are ever going to see silver go back down to $20 or, or lower than that ever again. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm optimistic. I hope that happens. That would be great if that were to happen. I know the premiums are through the roof regardless, but if we can get the spot price to come down and the premium is most likely going to stay high for a very long time, but right now we have like two things standing in our way. The spot price being several, several, several dollars above what we're used to, plus crazy high premiums. Premiums are going to be there no matter what the spot price of silver does. So if the spot price comes down, at least we'd be saving a little bit of cash. We can get some more money for our currency. So that's what my hopes are. That's what my fingers are crossed for. I don't know if we're going to see a significant pullback. It would be fantastic if we do, but it's not guaranteed. It's not promised. So I'm not gonna sit here getting absolutely nothing done. I'm still gonna be stacking that silver. I'm just gonna be slowing it down a little bit. Slow progress is better than no progress. That's something I learned long ago and that's something that I still believe in today. As long as you're moving, as long as you're staying productive, as long as you're still getting things done, it's better than sitting around with your fingers crossed hoping for something that may or may not ever even happen. So I also wanted to talk a little bit about gold today. And the reason for that is because as I posted about just on Sunday, if you haven't seen that video, I talked all about Warren Buffett's recent involvement in the precious metal market. He put over half a billion dollars into the gold market, but it's not the way a lot of people were thinking. A lot of people were thinking that he actually picked up physical gold, which is not the case. It was almost 21 million shares of the second largest gold mining company out there. For the record, in case anybody was wondering, Barrick Gold Corp stock, which is what Warren Buffett invested in, is up about 12% from where it was around this time last week. And the news broke 
I believe all the articles started to come out on Friday and even more came out on Saturday and then even more came out on Sunday and I posted my video before the markets even opened back up and I think that was probably one of my most important videos. I kind of deep dove into pretty much everything from both a stock market perspective and a precious metal perspective. So that video I believe is worth a watch. But here's the thing. Gold is absolutely up. I mean, as you can see, it's over $2,000 an ounce. As I'm recording this video, as I said about silver, it fluctuates by the time I'm editing the video and by the time I post the video, it might be something different. If it changes significantly, I will put a screenshot right here on the screen for you guys to look at. But over $2,000 an ounce, when just a couple of days ago, before all of this news about Warren Buffett came out, gold had actually dropped back down below 1900 The lowest I saw it go within the last week was about 1895 somewhere around there, just below 1900 bucks, And now it's back up above 2000 bucks. So I'm wondering if it's starting to react to Warren Buffett's involvement, not necessarily just his involvement, but all of the monkey see, monkey do type of people, because Warren Buffett, he could smack himself in the face and, and people would smack themselves in the face hoping to get rich off of it. I'm actually wondering if people are gonna be doing a little bit of follow the leader and what that necessarily entails. Is it gonna be people actually picking up the physical gold because they see Warren Buffett involving himself in the gold market? Or are they going to follow in his exact footsteps and invest in Barrick Gold Corp stock or other gold mining companies? I'm really curious to see, and I think as this week goes on, we're gonna see more and more and more people involve themselves in the precious metal market who have absolutely no idea about the precious metals. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Some people say that you should have a 100% perfect understanding before you get involved. Some people will say, dive in and figure it out. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, so nothing on this channel is financial advice. I think that should be pretty obvious. This is all for entertainment purposes, but it's also to initiate a conversation. So I'm curious, anybody watching right now who maybe just started getting involved in silver and or gold within these last couple of days, maybe it was inspired by Warren Buffett's decision, head on down to the comments and let me know. But in addition to all of that, I wanted to talk a little bit more about silver, and the reason for that is because I have a feeling that silver might actually be following gold's lead. Now, by that I mean, with all of the people so focused on gold right now, with all of the people who are prioritizing gold, with all of the people that are going full throttle in the direction of gold right now, oftentimes silver is viewed as the little brother, the underdog, the one that's underestimated, the one that's slept on, the one that isn't really given all the credit and the attention that many of us believe it deserves. I wonder if a lot of these people, if the price of gold gets driven up, I wonder if these people are gonna be picking up silver as well, thinking that silver will follow in gold's lead. I wonder if that's going to be the case, and I think by the end of this week, we're going to see a lot of people either involving themselves in the actual physical silver and gold. A lot of people are probably also going to be involving themselves in the paper silver and gold, maybe investing in some mining company stock. I do not know what this week is going to lead to, but I can say this. I believe it's going to be a very interesting week, and I look forward to sitting back and just observing what's going on because... Precious metals, these last couple of months have gotten a lot of attention. Silver and gold have both made headlines. Silver and gold have both been on the move, and they've both been getting tons and tons and tons of attention. A lot of people who were against precious metals are getting themselves involved now. Warren Buffett, for example, he wasn't exactly gold's number one fan, to say the least. There's a lot of other people out there who just don't believe in precious metals or maybe they do believe in them but they don't really want to get involved maybe whatever their reason is whatever their reason their excuse whatever it is they didn't want to get into precious metals the physical precious metals the hard asset that you have in your possession a lot of people are against that and you know i, I respect their decision whatever it may be more for me that's what i say but a lot of people 
have been changing their minds. A lot of people have been getting proven wrong. And more importantly, I don't think proving someone wrong is what we should be focusing on doing. I don't think we should be prioritizing and doing everything in our power to prove people wrong. I think it's a lot more beneficial to prove yourself right. And that's what Silver and Gold have been doing. They've been proving a lot of us right. They've actually proved me wrong in certain areas because I did not think that Silver would be on the move just yet. I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't expect it to happen this quickly. And with all of the attention that these precious metals have been getting, I don't know if it's people who view it as almost like a get-rich-quick scheme or opportunity. Oh, let me grab it at 20-something dollars an ounce and then I'll sell it off next week when it hits a million dollars an ounce. I don't know if that's what people are thinking or if people are actually doing it for preparation purposes. I wonder if people actually are noticing how much punishment the dollar bill is taking. I wonder if people can actually see it and have that first-hand experience just in these last couple of weeks or months with all of the printing that they're doing right now. Printing, printing, printing more and more and more of these pieces of paper. And the more they print, the weaker they get. That's just the way inflation works. And I wonder if people are waking up to the fact that their precious dollar bill is old and brittle and fragile and seems to be standing on its last leg right now. I wonder if people are waking up to the fact that that's going on and they're picking up the silver, they're picking up the gold for financial preparation purposes to preserve their wealth for the long term and to use their silver and their gold as a hedge against inflation. Or are they just trying to hop on a trendy opportunity? It's been making headlines. A lot of people are talking about it. People that are very, very pro precious metals are excited about it. People that are very, very anti-precious metals are ranting about it. Silver's getting attention. It's getting attention from people who love it, people who hate it, people who have no idea what it is. It's getting attention from everybody, both silver and gold. So I'm curious to see what this upcoming week is going to bring us, what we're going to see by tomorrow, by Thursday, by Friday, what's gonna happen at the end of the week. What's going to happen at the beginning of next week? I think it's going to be a really interesting next couple of days, and a lot could happen. It's really only a matter of time before the results begin to show, and I think over the next couple of days, over the next maybe 72 hours or so, we're going to see some really big moves. It's definitely a possibility. I'm not a psychic or anything like that, so I can't say for sure. I have no idea. I do, of course, have a little magic eight ball, but this thing lied to me last week, so I don't exactly believe it's a credible source, but I think it's going to be really interesting and I absolutely look forward to kicking back over the next couple of days and just, just observing as a spectator, as someone who has stacked up my fair share of silver. I don't have nearly as much as I want and I intend on getting tons and tons more. I don't even have a percent of the amount of silver that I want and same goes for gold. And hopefully by the end of the week, my new piece of gold will arrive in the mail and I will be able to do an unboxing and review. I look forward to doing that. So hopefully you are too within the next couple of days. It should be here, hopefully before the weekend. So those are just some of my thoughts. Those are some of my expectations. And I think over the next couple of days, we may or may not see silver following gold's lead. Gold is really up there. I mean, just recently it, it, it hit a brand new all time high just a week or two ago. Gold is seriously on the move. But percentage-wise, silver has been outperforming gold. From a percentage perspective, silver is actually up more than gold is up. And it's been like that these last couple of weeks. Even though silver is pretty much only halfway to reaching its all-time high. So obviously there's two different ways of looking at it. And they're both performing very, very well, in my opinion. And I don't think the markets have gotten a chance to react just yet. Sure, they're both up a little bit, but I don't think this is even scratching the surface to where they're both going to go. Now, I believe long-term, I'm a long-term vision type of person. I don't have that short-term mentality. I don't have that fiat mindset. I have that long-term wealth preservation mentality. This stuff right here, the silver and the gold, I intend to be involved for decades to come. 
to save money. I'm not trying to make money with silver and gold. I, I don't believe that's what they're for. I'm trying to save and protect my wealth for the long term and protect myself from inflation. So I don't think anything that happens in the short term is necessarily an indicator of what's going to be going on in the long term, but it's definitely exciting to see. It's definitely fun to look at, and it's a wild ride. It's like a roller coaster. We see the ups, we experience the downs, we capitalize on opportunities if and when possible, and at the end of the day, it's financial preparation. It's it's a way to protect your money. It's a way to save your money, and it's it's fun. I believe it's fun. But those are just some of my thoughts, some of my expectations, some of my opinions for what may or may not be occurring over the next couple of days or maybe the next week. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you agree with me, let me know why. If you have anything that you want to add, please add it to the comments. And if you disagree with me, the good news is you don't have to agree with me, but please let me know why you disagree with me. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please Hit that like button if you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying to hit 2,000 subscribers, we just hit 1,000. I appreciate that. Don't forget the back to school giveaways going on over there as well. And if you wanna help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products t-shirts hoodies even stickers many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations and of course the brand new crack and stack and t-shirt hoodie sticker and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver crack and coin which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of money for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you it comes out of my pocket not yours any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, please head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on the spot price of both silver and gold right now, with silver being above $28 an ounce at the time I'm recording it, and gold being above $2,000 an ounce as I'm recording the video. They might fluctuate, but what are your thoughts on the current spot price right now, and do you think that Warren Buffett's recent involvement in the precious metal markets are going to cause silver and gold to both soar? Do you think it's not gonna have much of an effect at all? Do you think it's gonna cause the spot prices to come down a little bit? Let me know in the comment section down below anything and everything related to this video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.